Hello and welcome to this lesson where we're going to focus on iOS app icon specifications. So why is it important to understand the specification before we begin designing our actual icon? Well, it's kind of important because if you go into the designing it and maybe in just uh, setting up a square document, you may get things wrong, which will be intrinsically just not compatible uh, or won't be accepted uh, when you go to submit your app uh, or your client does. So we need to make sure this is, uh, we follow exactly from the official source, developer.apple.com, the specifications required. So I, how do you find this document? Well, Google, so Google is your friend. If I go to Google real quick and I type in iOS app launcher, icon specifications or something similar we're going to likely come up with an official source so make sure you click on that and that's not the exact page that i was at this has uh just general information on icon and image sizes but if you click on app icon it'll show you the page that i was just at this is the page that we're going to be concerned with so again it's important that you find the latest up-to-date information so depending on when you're watching this course it may have changed already so it's important uh, to find this page so uh, looking at this, these right here, of course, are the app launcher icons. Uh, the one thing that separates iOS from Android when it comes to the app launcher icons is uh, iOS all have the same exact container. It's a square with rounded edges. Uh, when it comes to Android, we don't really have to worry about that so much. Uh, so looking at this, it just gives you uh, general information uh, about how to design the best app launcher icons. So I'll just read over the bullet points real quick. So hopefully uh, you're not going to have to worry about this one right here, which says for the best results and list the help of a professional graphic designer. Hopefully this course will be able to help you uh, design app icons that look good. Uh, so use universal imagery that people will easily recognize. This is kind of uh, obvious. So, you know, if you're designing, uh, if you're designing a launch icon for a health app you obviously would try to use colors that are associated commonly with health and also forms and shapes uh, embrace simplicity now this is hugely hugely important uh, because when we design our apps uh, launcher icons you're gonna find that they're designed uh, we're gonna be working with a real large document and so basically we're gonna have a big canvas to work with at about uh, 1024 by 1024 pixels uh, so we're gonna have a lot of room, but ultimately it gets scaled down to such a small size that any details that were the fine details that were view, visible on you know, the large version get scrunched down and lost ultimately. So simplicity is hugely important when it comes to app launcher icon design. So uh, create an abstract interpretation of your app's main idea. All right. So this is also something that's very common in logo design. Uh, you don't really always want to make it so obvious or just or try to be too literal in your depiction of the app. Uh, if you want to portray real substances, do it accurately. Make sure the app icon looks good on a variety of backgrounds. Avoid transparency. Don't use iOS interface elements in your artwork. So this is obvious as well. You don't want to uh, confuse people with uh, common iOS interface elements. Uh, don't use replicas of Apple's hardware products. This is obvious. Um, so the port that we're going to focus on right here is create different sizes of the app icon for different devices. So essentially, uh, I'm going to skip this part for a second. We're going to come down here where it says create a large version of your app icon for display in the app store. All right. So right here for the app store, create a larger version of your app icon in two sizes so that it looks good on all devices. 1024 by 1024 pixels. So that's 1024 width by 1024 pixels height. Uh, so it's a perfect square. And then also a 512 by 512, so which we can just resize the image. And when we get to the lesson where we export and save our images, we'll go over all of this. But the important thing to remember here for our next lesson where I set up our document is 1024 by 1024. And then to remember, we're, while we're designing in this 1024 by 1024 uh, canvas, ultimately it's going to get scaled down to 
120 by 120. So it's a significant amount. It's about 90% smaller uh, than this version. So that's where simplicity really plays an important role. All right, so, so that is the conclusion of this lesson. In the next lesson, we're gonna go ahead and set up our document for our first project. I'll see you then.